Sales of pulse oximeters and smartwatches that measure blood oxygen are soaring. That's because a dip in blood oxygen levels is one of the most characteristic symptoms of a case of COVID-19. Having a device like this at home can help you check if your cough could be COVID or if it's just a cold. But there are lots of products on the market. We asked an expert to help us sort the options. The entire stock of smartwatches is brought up from the warehouse to go on the shelves. Anyone with blood oxygen levels below 94% should go straight to the hospital, says the Taiwan Society of Pulmonary and Critical Care Medicine. That's led to a run on sales of pulse oximeters, which measure blood oxygen, as well as interest in smartwatches with oxygen detection features. Some of the smartwatches on the market have functions that detect blood oxygen levels. Turn them on and press the watch down firmly on your wrist. Then point the screen upward, and within about 10 seconds, you can see your blood oxygen saturation level. During the pandemic, consumers have been specially inquiring about this. In this wave, sales could grow by 10 percent. Retailer says inquiries have grown 10 percent, but online, there are even more options. The prices vary widely, though, with some products under 1,000 NT and others more than 10 times as much. This electronics expert tested them for us. On his right hand, you can see the Xiaomi Mi Band 6, which costs less than 1,000 NT. On his left hand, the Apple Watch S6, which costs over 13 times as much. The Xiaomi watch takes longer to get a reading, but they come out almost identical at 95% and 96%. Mostly what really matters is the way you wear the watch. Be sure to adjust it to the correct likeness and do the test in a fixed, quiet location. In principle, it's the same as measuring your heart rate. It sends intense pulsed light through your wrist to measure the state of your blood and blood vessels. No matter if it's a few hundred dollars, a few thousand or tens of thousands, they're all pretty much equally accurate. And the experts say there are lots of variables that can influence the readings of such watches. They're not to be taken as a definitive diagnosis.